I recently made a video going over new concepts for void subclass aspects and abilities and things, and I said I would do one for solar. I'll do it for all elements, but we're doing solar right now, so yeah, we're about to get into that. We did Titan first last time, but I want to start with Warlock this time because if we're keeping with the structure of last time where we want three supers, three melees, one class ability specific to that subclass, and four aspects, all Warlock needs to fill out all of that would be one melee. So let's just get that out of the way. We'll do Titan last because it needs the most stuff. So... We're just going to give Warlock a melee. That melee, you're going to take your Dawnblade Sword, your Solar Warlock Sword. You're going to stab in front of you. It can pierce enemies, but you're just a small straight line in front of you. And it'll apply massive Scorch stacks, like pretty big numbers, probably 60, 70, 75 on hit. But final blows with this melee will cure you and nearby allies. This helps feed into the Warlock's support identity while also their, you know, guardian angel burning everything in fire type of identity that the subclass also has. I honestly can't think of a good segue, so here's your segue. I'm going to talk about Advanced GG. Huge thank you to Advanced GG. Uh, my code is Spicer10. If you use my code Spicer10 to check out, I get paid for it. You get stuff cheaper. My link is in the description and in the pinned comment. It really means a lot if you go check them out. I personally love it. Been using it for years. But now we're going to move on to my concept for a new solar hunter aspect. So this new solar gunslinger hunter aspect, in my opinion, I'm calling, or in my brain space, I'm going to call it headhunter. It's going to focus on getting precision hits. And precision kills I don't want it to step on the toes of on your mark so I'm gonna move it in a different way where instead of just stat buffs it is meant to help you deal more damage and move through rooms more effectively by you know killing things faster so when you have this aspect on it will give you a meter bar in your uh, HUD in your buffs so precision hits solar ability final blows and precision final blows in general will all help fill this meter and all three of those can proc at once if you get a headshot kill with a heavy weighted throwing knife you'll get a lot more energy than if you just you know hit an enemy in the face or if you headshot an enemy and kill them you know <laughs> if you're able to do all three that all three at once you're going to get a lot more energy but as you fill this meter, you get different buffs. At a quarter, you and nearby allies gain Radiant. At halfway full, precision hits with solar weapons or solar abilities will apply Scorch. And at three quarters of the way full, precision final blows with solar weapons or solar abilities cause Ignitions. At full meter, your kinetic weapons will scorch targets on precision hits. You and nearby allies will also have higher stability and range with your weapons after dealing precision damage. This kind of takes a lot of themes from the Act 2 uh, artifact perks a little bit, but I like how it encourages you specifically to aim for the head, be precise, you know, use your throwing knives in precise it, it like be accurate with your throwing knives and use them which could open up a lot more throwing knife based builds maybe Athrus's embrace gets a little more meta on your mark may see a little more play because it's buffing your uh, weapon based attributes but not the same ones as headhunter is so maybe we see some play there uh, i think there's a lot that could be done using this you know uh, it lends itself more towards linear fusion rifles and snipers. It makes using rockets less enticing, which maybe is what, maybe not necessarily we need, but I think it would help calm down how suffocating rocket launchers can be in the meta, especially with G-Horn existing. So there's a lot going into this aspect for me in my thoughts. 
Anyways, moving on to the Sunbreaker Titan, we have a new super, a new aspect, a new melee, and a new class ability. So, yeah, let's just get into this. So, as a super, we're doing a one and done super. Titans need more of those. And this one's going to be a ranged damage super. So, you're going to create sunspots around you as you create a giant solar meteor. I'm calling this meteoric slag. Maybe it's soul throw, sun throw, something. You know, you're creating a giant ball of solar light that you're going to throw. Not like Nova Bomb where you jump up and throw it. You are lifting it over your head with both your hands and you are lobbing it at enemies. It's going to be maybe not the size of a Cataclysm Nova Bomb and how large the sprite of it is. But it's going to be like pretty large. It's going to hit enemies. All enemies hit by it and the shards that fall off of it will ignite. Those enemies will all ignite. Okay. And it'll create sunspots where the fragments land on the ground not on enemies so that would kind of mean sunbreaker titans would have two different uh one and done supers with pyrogale gauntlets and then this uh i i think i think this is a fun idea you know just chuck a giant rock at your enemies they get ignited they take a lot of damage there's sunspots everywhere so if you're using phoenix cradle that's a great benefit to your allies too. You know, just something to think about there. Moving on to a new aspect idea. This one's going to be melee based, which I know has been a tough fight for Titans. This aspect, I'm calling it Quench. Your melee damage versus scorched targets is greatly increased. Ignitions create fire sprites. And... When you have Restoration active, it charges your melees with solar light, and they scorch. So even your uncharged melees will deal solar damage and will apply scorch stacks. If you have Restoration times 2 active, it applies more scorch stacks. So this could work really well with Consecration. You're dealing extra damage, applying more scorch. It, it could help there. Soul Invictus could see a lot of help with it. You know, there's there's some stuff you could do with this that would be really fun, in my opinion. I think this is a pretty good concept for a Titan aspect for Solar. Also, if Bonk Hammer applied Scorch and then it dealt more damage to Scorch targets, we could bring back a little bit of the Bonk meta even though it's definitely not bad, I don't get it when people say it's bad. It, it's fine. Anyways, moving over to the new melee concept, the Siege Hammer. Instead of spinning around in a circle, you're just going to pull up with a big hammer and slam it on the ground. This will create a cone in front of you of pretty high damage dealing. And, you know, won't stop at the enemy directly in front of you. It is happening in the ground, like it's a shockwave. If you've ever played Overwatch or Overwatch 2, Reinhardt's ult, but way smaller, you know? You just hit enemies. They don't get knocked or anything. They just take a lot of damage. It's a quick, just, just a quick animation of you pulling up a hammer, slamming it on the ground, and it goes away. That's it. That's the melee. I think it's a fun idea. And lastly, we have a new class ability for the Titan, calling it Soul Burst. This one will have the Sunbreaker fill themselves with solar light and explode it. So you won't have a barricade anymore. This is not about protecting you. This is not about protecting your allies. This is about dealing damage and being aggressive. So if you're surrounded by enemies, you do this, you deal pretty okay damage you know it's not the worst damage in the world but it's not like you know you're absolutely destroying everything around you it's it's pretty moderate damage and those enemies get scorched so red bars are probably going to die if not to the explosion to the scorch and you're going to apply restoration to yourself and allies not like a super high amount probably three to five seconds of scorch or restoration will be applied to you and your allies to help you get out of sticky situations or keep your restoration going as a titan. Anyways, th those are uh, my ideas for some new abilities and subclass aspects and stuff 
to give to our solar subclasses in Destiny to bring a little bit more div uh, diversity to play and things like that within our solar subclasses. So that'll be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment your ideas, like, subscribe, maybe join. Consider buying some advanced GG. Go check it out. It's in my pinned comment down below, the description, all, all that stuff. I do have a Discord server if you'd like to join that. Uh, if you have build ideas, put them in there. I have a channel for that. I have a channel for Destiny Fashion. I do have a second channel too if you'd like to check that out. Pinned comment again. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.